okay now we are in the sixth chapter of objects and classes so and I'm taking up this eighth problem it says that bank charges interest for the vehicle loan as given below so there are levels right up to five years it is 15 percent if you have more number of years the rate of interest is less okay now it, it it asks for writing a program to model a class with specifications given below it's quite easy it looks long but look at it everything is defined clearly it says that your class will have a name loan and the class will have these variables these are not the members or variables of the methods so these are methods of the class the object that you'll create will have it so evidently every method that is there will be able to access, access these things and then the methods are already specified now i have written a pseudocode here so i would walk you to the through the pseudocode let's look at that okay right it wants us to write a class loan so i, I would write it the syntax would be java this is a simple pseudocode we are thinking right we are thinking you can scribble to it so it it asks for instance variables of these type we are not going by the syntax we are going by the concept then there will be a function named get data calculate and display so we write three functions get data calculate and display let's get into what it says it says that it will accept principal and time so it will ask the user to enter the principal receive it and the time then it is here that you associate the interest rate now when you read input principle it is this variable that gets affected right so even though you're reading in get a data function the value of principle the value of the principle gets changed for this one right you read it here but because it's the same variable everywhere the value of principle will be same everywhere so if get data is called first which is what is the plan so if you look at the main program get data will be called first then calculate and display so we just ask a user to enter all the data there are only two the principal and the rate right when these are done the variable principal is affected here so at the same time we also decide the rate it's important to do the rate here itself because uh, when you read the rate this is the get data right so you're reading the principal and the years so based on the principal amount and the year amount actually only on the year amount you decide the interest so as soon as you read the years you decide the rate so the three variables are ready in this function that is principal rate and interest are ready here right now when this is ready we do a calculation when can we do a calculation when in the main function we do this calculate how do you calculate right look at the calculate function interest is principal into rate into time so we know the principal we know the rate we know the time and we get the total amount if you just go ahead add the principal and interest you get the amount right and that is what you have to display now where is the amount how does it get the amount i think either you declare it out here which is here it is done or you have to return but then because it says amount is to be declared here we declare it here and then we print it now let's look at the java code for it right here is the java code i'm going to put it on this side so that you can see the problem statement or let me separate it okay from here we are going to convert into java code so when you say loan let's do a public class loan it starts here and it would end at the end of the class right the entire code is in camp is within this class so you it has get data calculate and display then you write a main right this is exactly what was asked in this right get data calculate and display display the interest amount right so to execute this we will write the main program otherwise we could have left it as it is so now moving on to our pseudocode we are going to declare the variables right 
so here it is int time double 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 rate interest amount all these things are declared here then you have the method when you write a method it should be public void get data or public void get data and public void display public void calculate right now in the calculate you have this formula you just put in that formula right look at this amount this amount is same here so you don't have to return it because it is accessible globally within the class right so you don't have to ex return that so when you call display all that it does is it goes to the amount and displays it so this is a simple program very simple program and highly scorable like there's hardly any scope for a mistake now let me just run it you are not required to run in the code that you make but to show how it works I first compiled when you compile you give the file name loan.java okay uh, another thing is that whatever is your class name that should be a file name dot java right now once you have compiled there is a java class created inside it okay here it is so I'm going to list it out okay forget everything this was created right now when I compile loan.java now to run this loan dot class you don't write dot class you just say the java not c java loan it understands the dot class and it will run so enter the amount uh, let's say i'm talking about 10000 rupees okay then all things depends upon the year if it is say uh, if the year is uh, less than 10 right uh, less than 5 is this less than 10 is this let me say years are uh, say I'm picking for 15 years right so interest rate is this this is the interest amount and total loan to be paid is this that's how the output is